Oh my gosh, why am I so bad at this? Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that somebody's joining me. <laughs> um, if there's only one person behind that, that's okay. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, if you could just press that red subscribe button, that would mean so, so much to me. So if you have noticed that I've changed, it's simply because if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I lost so much of the footage and I have had so much trouble with this video. That is why it's so late. Um, but today it's freezing, so I just have to put a sweater dress on, which is actually part of this haul. Today I'm doing my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. And as I said, this was meant to go up so long ago. But anyway, I shopped at Public Desire, which I need your help deciding some boots. Um, look of the day. I saw it first. eBay. A jewellery company called The Wolf and Badger. Um, ASOS and somewhere else but I can't remember I'm great, I'm great at this aren't I there might only be literally like one person watching this but if there is only that one person please can that one person please go like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want um, I, I would appreciate that so so much like even if there's only that one person out there please can you do that for me I do hope there are more than one of you watching but if not at least that one person could be a fab person <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Also, I'm really sorry if the quality is terrible or if it changes. I am using daylight, my window is right there, and I'm filming on my Olympus pen without a microphone. I just thought, there's no point investing in it if it turns out that I don't even like doing it. So, I am not like a, a person who likes to be on stage or anything like that, literally, at school, in my school play. Apparently I was a cloud, like I thought I was a sheep, but apparently I was a cloud. But I was probably like a sheep one year and then I probably got demoted to being a cloud. <laughs> that says it all really, doesn't it? <laughs> also, I'll be doing cutaways of what I've bought. I mean, I'm saying that I'll do that, but what about if I can't do that? What about if that skill just isn't one I have? <laughs> I don't know, I guess we'll see. Hopefully, I'll be doing cutaways of everything I bought on me so you can get more of a feel. And that's everything, I think. Let's get straight into the haul. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is something I can't actually open on camera because it's for my dad's Christmas present. So, how? Is this? This is upside down. Why am I so bad at this? Is that right? Yeah, okay, phew. This is the right way. So this is my dad's Christmas present. I can't show you just in case he's watching because, Dad, you should be watching. You should be supportive, Dad. Um... But let me know what you think it is, see if you can guess. Can you guess? I'm not sure if you'll be able to guess from that, it's just a shuffling noise, how could you guess? But if you're thinking like, oh, I, I bet it's this, or a typical dad present, just leave me a comment in the comments below and we'll see who gets it right. Can you guess? <laughs> So from eBay, I actually only bought one item and this was specifically so I could film this. And this is a 64 gig memory card that is suitable for HD 3D filming. And I literally bought this memory card so I could film this. How much commitment? How much commitment? I think that's worth a subscribe, don't you? <laughs> I am ridiculous, I know. But yeah, so I bought this memory card. So many people on my Insta story where I asked about memory cards told me to go to Amazon. And I did try, I did go on Amazon, but oh my gosh, does anybody else find the font on Amazon just so unappealing? Like it actually stresses me out. It's so like sticky and like all clumped together and horrible. It's just not a nice shopping experience. So I headed to eBay and I bought this memory card. It says it is, I don't know what it says because I know nothing about memory cards. It says SDXC class 10 I don't know Ultima Pro high speed memory card and that is just 64 gigs so it's quite a lot and yeah basically because I need to film this so that can go over there because it's just the packaging because obviously the memory card is in my camera and that was about 
13 pounds it was under 20 i think which is quite good um well it might not be quite good but i bought it for that anyway Okay, so I'm sorry about my hair. I have just had a shower and dried my roots, but I haven't styled it or anything simply because I'm trying out a new hair routine, which I posted about on Instagram like two or three posts ago. Right, so everything I talk about in this haul, I ordered in a size eight, and that is a UK size eight. And for reference, a UK size eight is a US four, a Canadian four, um, an Australian eight, a New Zealand 8, European France 36 and okay so this label says European DE 34 but I don't know what DE is like Dutch? Denmark? I don't know European DE 34. I was literally about to say okay so in different languages these are the sizes but it's not language it's just country. Come on Kira. come on. So my first haul was from Look of the Day and I got five items here and each cost five pounds. So they weren't originally five pounds, I think they had an up to 85% or 80% off on Cyber Monday. So, no on Black Friday, sorry. So I did get some amazing deals. Now I have got everything out of the packaging already, simply because you know I'm refilming this so obviously I've got everything out of the packaging okay so let's start with something that I was most excited for and I have worn it already it was a cropped biker jacket um I don't know why I clapped that I don't even know if it was in frame so if you just saw me go like this that's why I was, I was just being a weirdo basically but this little beauty from look of the day is just a cropped black biker jacket and it is just in a material it's like a scuba type of material it's not suede or leather or anything and you know what I have been looking for a cropped biker jacket or even just a cropped black jacket for the longest time possible literally like years okay maybe not years maybe like a year or maybe like less than a year no 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 like a year when I go out I tend to wear high-waisted items so skirts jeans dresses everything has a waist that's high-waisted simply because I have such a long body and I feel like if you don't wear a crop jacket with it, sometimes it can just, the proportions just look a bit weird on me. So I've been in search of a black crop jacket, just simple, and I found this one. I did originally want a suede one, however, all of the suede ones in the size 8 were sold out. So I just didn't manage to get it. But this little beauty, I wore it on a couple of weekends ago at a friend's 30th and it looked so good with my outfit i actually kept my jacket on for so long because of it and what's best about it is actually that you can wash it so you can machine wash it you don't have to take it to a dry cleaner because it's material it's not leather or suede which i personally love that like when i go out there's always somebody who manages to bump into me or spill a drink on me and you know it's just great that you can just machine wash it now I wouldn't put it in the tumble dryer but I would never do that with a jacket anyway and there are care instructions so I don't even know why I'm telling you that. Shut up Kira. So the next item, I actually bought this item to go with a burgundy skirt that I have and this is the I was about to say colder shoulder instead of cold shoulder cold shoulder burgundy wine crop top and it has little frills on it it's a very thick material oh it's really soft inside as well it's really soft inside and it's a thick non-see-through material I bought this to go with a burgundy skirt sorry I'm smiling because when I bought that skirt I had a bit of drama with my friend Becca we were just in uncontrollable fits of laughter so just excuse my smirk on my face when I remember that but I bought this to go with a skirt that I bought with her and after trying it on with it it's the wrong colour wine so it won't actually go with it but it does look good with like a black PVC vinyl type of skirt which is great and I really like this because it just adds a bit more uniqueness to the outfit. It's not just like a top and a skirt or a top and jeans. It adds a bit more zhuzh to the outfit. I do wear this off the shoulder though. I simply think it looks better than on the shoulder. 
but I will show you that in the cutaway. Okay, now next is this really cute little cami. I think it was literally a few pounds. And it is just a square neck cami with cut out sides. So it's like a cage detail on the side. And I bought this simply to go with high waisted jeans and then just tuck this in and put a little leather biker jacket over the top with some heels. I think that'll look really cute. You know, because you can't have your legs out all the time because now it's freezing, because England is freezing. So it just adds a little bit of Okay, I was going to say raunchiness then. Probably shouldn't say that, should I? No, okay, we shouldn't. I know, we'll go with glam. It just adds a little bit of glam, doesn't it, to an outfit. So this is where the side of you would go. And I'll show you it in the cutout. Next from look of the day, I will not lie, I bought this because of the sleeves. Look at those sleeves. So it's like a tiered ruffle in, oh, it's really soft, in crushed velvet. And I love the sleeves. Um, the actual neckline fit of the top is one of those tops where it kind of cinches in below your boobs, so below your chest, instead of on your waist. And I'm not really a fan of these tops because I feel like they look like maternity wear. But... I got it anyway because it's really cute and I will show you now. So this is a little pink, dusty pink velvet number. I know you can't tell with the way that I've just slung it over my arm, but I will be showing cutouts. This is mainly just to show you the colour and texture and things like that. So these are also, I think they're meant to tie up around your neck, but I just don't think I'll wear that because I have such a long body it doesn't really reach, but I'll show you in the cutout. Finally, from look of the day, I got this gorgeous blue denim skirt and it's like a two-tone denim. Um, I'm just sipping it up for you and doing up the button. And it's like studded. I will show you, I'm just literally so prepared. I'm doing it whilst I've talked to you. And are you ready? Three, two, one, boom. <laughs> I'm so weird. Okay, so it's this two-tone denim with big pockets and these studs all along the side and what I love about this is that it has a mustard coloured stitching with the blue and I love that colour stitching with denim. Back it's just like this and that was £5. The only thing I will say about this is, can you see this waist? I am a size 8 as I've said but my waist is more of a size 6 so I probably should have got this in a size 6 and I think I messed up there but I will be ordering this in a size 6 if it doesn't fit because I do really like it and it was £5. Now my next haul was, I saw it first, um, I probably should have shown you this first, it would have made sense if the shop was called I saw it first and you did see it first, but I didn't. This is the packaging obviously, and I'm actually wearing one of them, so I probably should have thought this through because how am I going to hold this up? I'll talk about this one first, so I got... So I got this grey sweater dress with slit sides and it has a tie at the waist to give it a bit of structure. Let me just get up to show you. Okay, so it has this tie at the waist with belt holes and it has, let me just show you, slit sides. 
long sleeves and it is just in this grey colour. Okay, so the only thing about this is that the slit sides are just at that point where the top of the slit is on your thigh, that if the wind blows, it's a little bit risky. Um, currently I've worn this with black jeans and black leggings. So I wore it the other day for a meal and it looked really glammed up. So I wore it with black velvet jeans, um, heeled black suede boots, a leather and faux fur gilet. God, there's a lot of texture, isn't there? Leather, fur, velvet, suede, sweater material. What was I doing? I look good though. Um, but anyway, so I wore it with that and it looked quite dressy. And then I wore it the other day to a Christmas market and I wore it with leggings and platform velvet trainers and then a crossbody bag and a big puffer and it looked really casual and dressed down so I do love this a lot and it's really soft, I'm allergic to wool so sweaters are the way to go for me it has distressed hems on the sleeves and the bottom of it and I will now show you a cutaway So next in the haul we have an item that was actually in my basket and it was the one item in my basket that I thought, mm, do I really need that? And guess what? It's one of my favourite items. Come on, I should have known that. I should have known that I needed it. I shouldn't have questioned it really. And it is this red, bright red, wide leg. Can you see how wide that leg is? Um, tie front jumpsuit. And it is so insanely soft. I would literally want to wear this to bed because it is so insanely soft. It's like a um, jersey material. It's quite thin. Like it is quite thin. Can you? S I don't know if the light's going through it at all. But I think I'll wear this to a Christmas party that I have coming up because it is just so. It makes you feel so sassy and confident when you walk in it because it flows with you as you walk. Um, the only thing is you can't. You can wear a bra with it, but because of this tie, there's like a hole here where the two pieces join together. And I think your bra strap would show there. Also, the waistline is really high. So it's just kind of below where your chest is. And it gives you this really elongated leg with these wide leg trousers that just, oh, they just flow so nicely. And I will show you that now in the cutaway. Okay, so my next item is another oversized sweatshirt dress and it is in black and I've just shown you the back of it. Hmm, I'm good at this. So it is this black sweatshirt. I would say mini dress, but it's too short to wear as a dress on me personally. I'm five foot five, but I have a really long body and it has these really cute bow ribbon details now this doesn't cinch in the waist the waistband actually controls the waist cinching not this so you can't tighten that um but it does have ruched sleeves and bows on both sides and you can i've just undone this one a bit you can actually ruch and kind of adjust the size on the sleeves so that's really good i think um the only problem with this, on me, I feel like it's a bit, can you see how this one's loose and like I can move and it's not restrictive? I feel like on this black one, it is a bit restrictive. So, it's sort of like, I don't really know how to describe it. It sort of looks like I'm wearing a dress that's too small for me. So I will be returning this just to get the size up, which will be a UK 10, simply because I don't want it to look like I'm trying to fit in a dress that's too small for me. Does that make sense? I feel like it does. We'll go with it. Okay, so the cutaway for that is here.
Next is a dress that I have actually already worn and loved and got so many compliments on and it is the one that is in my most recent Instagram post. It's the mustard lace dress. Chest area is lined and your waist and below is lined but the midsection between those two isn't lined so you get that nice sort of peek through of skin. The only thing I find about this dress and the next dress to come is I do not understand why I saw it first would do this. So this is stretchy yet they have an adjustable strap so if you've got the strap adjuster you don't need your straps to be stretchy because you can adjust the size and I just feel like if you wear a dress with a stretchy strap and a strap adjuster it has too much give to it so at, by the end of the night it just pulls and pulls and the more times you wear it it'll just pull down so I might just add like a stitching along here just to keep the strap from getting too stretched out but I do really love this and this dress was six pounds in the sale which is incredible and the cutaway for this one is here And if you want to see the pictures, just go to Instagram and have a little stalk because you'll see me in it. Okay, now my final piece from I Saw It First is the one piece that I'll be returning and not getting in another size. This is simply because of the straps. No, it's not. That's a lie. So I have been looking for a red vinyl PVC type of mini dress for the longest time now. And I found it, found what I was looking for, and I saw it first on Cyber Monday. And this dress is just like, oh, I just love the fire engine red. It's just a really bright primary red. The reason is, similar to the mustard one, but more so, look at this. Right, so I'm holding it at the top here, you can see that. This is just pure elastic and it has an adjustable strap. So it's going to end up stretching and stretching and stretching. And I have tried this one on because I thought I might wear it to that birthday I was on about earlier. <sighs> this is skin tight. I'm a small size eight. And I would say that this is like a four to six tops. This is so skin tight. It's not even skin tight, it's just tight. It's just tight, it's way too tight. It makes me look like, well you'll see it in the cutaways, but it literally makes me look like, I don't know, like a sausage. You know like sausage packaging, that like plastic stuff. It's so, oh, it's just so not flattering. You can see how flustered I'm getting with this, but it's just so unflattering. And these straps, I don't know what they were thinking, like, So I'm kind of wanting a statement boot, but at the same time, I'm wanting it to be versatile enough that if I go for lunch with my friends or a meal, and then it ends up that we go for drinks and maybe night out, I don't want to be in the situation where I'm in a bar or club and I feel like I'm not dressed properly. I don't know, I'm a heels person in the evening. I don't really wear trainers or flats or anything like that in the evening and I don't want to feel like just plodding around but anyway shush Kira too much information I'll show you the boots so the Hayley Baldwin was actually cheaper I think which surprised me because it feels so much softer and I think that was about 20-25 pounds and the normal public desire one was about 10 pounds more so these are the two boots this is the one that is £10 cheaper and has a more statement heel and oh, 
I can't even explain to you how soft these are, like I really can't. And that is the heel. So it is more of a solid, it kind of reminds me of like a Texan boot. So it has like this like bit here and this shape just reminds me of a really Texan style boot. And then it's quite wide and it comes to a point and then it has this solid black heel that is much more substantial but lower, lower than this one. So, this boot has a heel that I would like to go out in. I would be comfortable going out in that heel. Um, it's not too high, it's not too low. Whereas this, I'd feel like I'd gone out in flats. Um, the only problem is the taller boot, like the heel height boot, it does have a tendency to roll down, but I did see online that you can go to a boot repair guy. I don't know what they're called. It's not cobbler, is it? No. I don't know. And get that grippy see-through stuff put on the inside of the bit where it goes around your thigh to keep it tied up. Um, they both do have ties, but I just they're not elastic. They're more like shoelacy ties. And I just I don't think they work very well, to be honest. I'd love to hear your comments. Please just leave a comment which you think would be best. Like, it's not that I think these are basic. It's just that they're less statement and more kind of see them everywhere type of thing. But you normally see them in black. So it's not like they're everywhere in this colour. But I don't know. Please, please do help me because I'm kind of lost with what to do. I'll show you the cutaways now because I feel like you'll get more of a feel for them. So that was it. I hope it wasn't too bad. I hope it didn't suck and it was in focus and the lighting wasn't all over the place and you could actually hear what I'm saying. But thank you so, so much for watching. I know that some of you watching will literally just be watching this to support me and you won't care what I bought or anything like that. But I really, really appreciate it. Um, I know some guys will be watching that I've basically forced to watch because I'm so scared no one will watch it um, and I really appreciate you guys watching it because I know this isn't for you. But anyway, give it a like, a comment, subscribe, anything and I will be so so happy even if it's just that one person out there, even if you can just subscribe or like it or comment, anything, I'll really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. But anyway, thumbs up like comment that is a like a thumbs up and a like material biker jacket that's what it's called that's not what it's called cropped biker jacket in black uh, i think the stretch stretchy strap strap i think because i think the stretch strap okay i can't even say stretchy straps that's a bit of a tongue twister so today i'll be talking so today person please oh my god did you see that I just tried to do like a please like a pray please sign and I'm holding the camera with my other hand so obviously I only have one hand so I can't do that oh my god idiot. well I hope you like the video if you do please give it a massive thumbs up um if you don't just just give it a thumbs up anyway I don't know can you say that probably not you're not meant to say that Okay, so the lighting might have changed or the angle because my camera just died because obviously that would happen, wouldn't it? Dress. I love this. Did you see that? Oh! <laughs> Why am I so mad? Okay, let's try this again. But I will show you the clipaways now because I feel like you're going to get... It fell.